Several years ago, the customer service division of General Motors received a strange complaint from a customer. The complaint read, my car does not start whenever I buy vanilla ice creams. At first, it was not taken seriously. That's when the customer decided to write to the customer service second time, this time very clearly. The family of the customer who had recently bought Pontiac from General Motors had a habit of having dessert for dinner. The family had used to vote which flavor to eat each day. A paraphrase of the complaint that the customer gave is as follows. Whenever I buy vanilla ice creams from the ice cream store and try to start my car to go back home, the car would not start. The car would start on days I buy other flavors like strawberry or chocolate. Being puzzled by this complaint, General Motors took the complaint seriously and decided to send an engineer to investigate the issue. The engineer meets the customer just after dinner time. They both drive the Pontiac to the ice cream store. That night, the customer bought vanilla ice creams for his family. When they returned to the car, the car would not start. Meanwhile, to rule out engineering issues, the engineer starts noting down variables such as time of the day, type of fuel use, the time it takes to reach the store, and the time it takes to come back to the car from the store. To further investigate the issue, the engineer went with the customer for three more days. The second day, they bought a chocolate ice cream and the car would start. The third day, they bought strawberry ice cream and the car would start. The fourth day, they again bought a vanilla ice cream and the car would not start. Now the engineer checks the data on variables that he jotted down and finds that the time taken to come back to the car was lesser whenever the person bought vanilla ice creams. The reason that it took lesser time to come back to the car was the layout of the ice cream store. Vanilla ice cream counter was placed very close to the car parking area as the flavor was the most popular in the store. So the store had arranged quick pickup for vanilla ice creams. Counters for other flavors were placed a little away from the parking area. Now the question that arised in the engineer's mind was, why would the car not start again in a lesser time? The answer that came to his mind is vapor lock. Whenever the customer bought other flavors, he took a little more time to come back to the car. This little extra time enabled the engine to cool down a bit more. On the other hand, whenever the customer bought vanilla ice creams, the engine did not have time to cool down, thereby creating a fuel vapor lock. Imagine such a thing happening today, in this day and age of extensive digitalization. Some of us would report the issue on social media tagging the chief executive. So, the cost of not hearing out a complaint, however little or unimportant it may seem, can prove more expensive than the cost of repairing or rectifying the issue. This is not just relatable to businesses, but also to personal lives. Thank you for your time. Take care.